Hello everyone, I'm Em, welcome back to Tech Block. Today we are doing part three of the Razer Chroma plus Philips Hue video. In part one, we kind of unboxed everything. In part two, we kind of set everything up. And in part three, uh, I've bought myself an extra light bulb. So that up there is the Philips Hue B22 bulb. It's the richer colors bulb, which basically means uh, it's RGB, as uh, I'll demonstrate right now. Uh, check this out. Ooh, it can change colors and stuff, and I'm doing that via the old Philips Hue app right here. And I've also got like a Philips Hue LED strip that I already showed you in like the previous parts. But yeah, it's all pretty cool. Now we have this bulb and this bulb cost me only 50 pound, you know, for a light bulb. It's a really budget friendly bulb. Uh, you know, it's Philips Hue, very budget friendly stuff. No, I'm joking. It's, it's 50 pound for a bulb. It's, it's crazy, dude. And uh, if you're new to Philips Hue and you want to get this bulb, you're also going to have to pick up the, uh, the Philips Hue bridge that is sitting like right over there above my router and that bridge is also going to cost you another 50 pounds so if you want that light bulb to work you're going to spend like 100 pound which is a, a nice deal but regardless of the price it is a cool product and you can do some pretty cool stuff with it uh, that i'm going to show you now so as this video is going to be mainly focused around philips hue and razor chroma i want to show you how you can actually like mess around with the lights and stuff control your lights from your pc or your laptop, you know, anything really, as long as you have the Razer Chroma app. To be honest, I don't even know if you need like actual Razer products in order to control your Philips Hue lights from your PC. I'm pretty sure you may be able to just download the Razer Synapse like app right here on your PC and then just download the Philips Hue module that's right here. And you know, it's going to detect all of your Philips Hue devices that you have connected on your Wi-Fi network and it should just begin working, no problem. So let's enable this bridge then i'll be able to show you how you can actually configure all the lights so as you can see the light bulb turned off there it's turning back on same with the lights behind my desk there so in the razor chroma app right here what we can do is we can select some quick effects for example so let's do a spectrum cycle let's sync this to everything so this will sync to like my peripherals as well as the desk and the light bulb as well now i'm not sure how i can even like get this all in one frame really you can see that my keyboard my mouse and the desk are all pretty much synced up in terms of colors. So you can see everything's turning green now, and now it's turning blue, so is the light bulb up there. So yeah, the whole room is pretty much just synchronized for the most part. I'm gonna actually close my curtains so you guys can actually have like a better view of all the lighting going on. Close curtains. If you wanna learn more about smart curtains, press the link in the top right hand corner there to watch my smart curtain video. But apart from that, uh, let's also turn the lights off. Turn off soft boxes. There we go. Now it's uh, much darker in the room and you can have a much better view, I guess, of like how the room is changing colors. It's pretty sick, dude. But what we can also do is go into the Razer Chroma Studio. We have a whole lot more selection, I guess, of what we can do. So uh, we have a bunch of layers here that I've created. Now I'm gonna mute a few of these actually. And let's enable the fire one, for example. There we go. Let's press save. Now the whole room is kind of gonna be like with this fiery effect. So it's kind of like a mix of orange and red and the light bulb is also kind of like flickering a little bit I suppose and so is the desk. Now one thing that I'm going to mention now that I was kind of disappointed about and I'm sure most people are kind of disappointed uh, with, with Philips Hue about is that their light strip isn't addressable in any way. Um, well it's not individually addressable so like the actual like LED lights on the strip uh, you can only set the strip to one single color you can't like create zones in the LED strip and you know just make them whatever color you want. If you want an LED strip with like addressable LEDs on it, check out Lithex that is also extremely expensive or if you want like a budget friendlier version, Minger makes some like dream color LED strips. I'll leave both those in the description down below for you in case you're interested. But yeah, that's kind of the fiery effect. Let's go ahead and check out. The Starlight isn't like the most exciting effect I guess but if you're like in a pitch black room, I mean it's pretty cool. Uh, like parts of the keyboard and stuff are like lighting up and turning off and the light bulb uh, now and again will also like, you know, turn on, turn off for a second. The ripple effect is actually like really cool as this is my current setup, I guess, for like Razer Chroma. So we have like the light bulb, we have the keyboard, mouse and mouse mat, and then the LED strip behind the desk. Now I've currently got everything set to a ripple effect. So if I press on my keyboard, you'll see ripple and the whole room will freaking flash, dude. Like you can like, look, <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, so if I press like H, that'll ripple through the mouse, the keyboard, the mouse mat, the LED strip behind your desk and your light bulb. Like the integration with the Razer Chroma Studio and Philips Hue is really good. Like the fact that this works so well, you can just like 
ripple effect, dude, and your room just flashes. It's crazy. Uh, but Razer Chroma does also support quite a few games. Now, one of those games, I believe, is Overwatch. Unfortunately, I don't have a copy of Overwatch, so uh, I can't really show you the lighting effects. But I'm pretty sure Fortnite supports Razer Chroma. Right, Fortnite's currently updating itself. This might take a while, as I haven't played Fortnite for quite a few weeks, if not over a month. So while that updates, I want to talk about one problem with Razer Chroma and Philips Hue. And before I talk about it, let's turn the lights back on. Right, let's do the, the wave effect. Uh, I want to show you how crazy this wave effect is. Uh, check out the light bulb. It's going nuts. And so is everything else. Um, yeah, if you want your room to be a disco, all you have to do is enable the wave effect on the Razer Chroma Studio. Have a light bulb, have like an LED strip and you're set pretty much like, look at this room dude. It's crazy. It's just flashing colors and stuff. And now one thing I want to talk about while Fortnite is still updating itself is one problem that I found with Razer Chroma and you know, Philips Hue in general. Now, the way to make the Philips Hue lights work with Razer Chroma is really simple. You set up an entertainment area that can be found in settings, then you go into entertainment areas, and as you can see here, we've got entertainment area one, which I don't, I don't even know why the hell it's called entertainment area one. Let's call this like bedroom, because that's the room, I guess, and that's the entertainment area. You have like you, I guess, on the couch. We have the light bulb that's kind of behind us, because where I sit in my desk, I guess, is here, and the light bulb is kind of behind me there, so that's kind of where I place it in the app. And then over there we have the LED strip that is in front of me. That's kind of how everything is set up in the entertainment area. And all you do really is you go onto the Razer Chroma Studio and uh, you go onto the Hue app here and uh, you'll see that we have one. Now it's called Bedroom, but yeah, the Hue Bridge uh, has to select an entertainment area in order for it to work with like Razer Chroma and Philips Hue. Now because we've currently got our entertainment area enabled, that pretty much overrides everything. Let's say you want to turn off your LED lights via Apple Home, but your PC is still on and you know, the Hue bridge is still being synced and everything and the entertainment area is still enabled. So let's say I want to turn off my desk lights. Oh, we turned it off in Apple HomeKit, but nothing happened. Let's turn off the light bulb. We press that. Oh, the light bulb is still on and uh, Apple HomeKit's commands, I guess, are being completely ignored as everything is overridden, I suppose by uh, Razer Chroma and the entertainment area pretty much. So that kind of sucks. So if you want to, you know, gain control of your lights back via Apple HomeKit or e even your Amazon Echo, even the Philips Hue app, like you can't do anything until you disable the entertainment area. And that is basically like, you know, disconnecting it from Razer Synapse. So your ways of controlling these Philips Hue lights uh, becomes either like Razer Chroma or Apple HomeKit, your Amazon Echoes, a, an actual remote, like all these other ways basically, or Razer Chroma, which it kind of sucks, I suppose. But luckily it is very easy to, I guess, disable the entertainment area and quickly switch back to, you know, your regular methods of controlling your lights. So in the Philips Hue app, we can quickly press stop light sync at the bottom here and bada bing, bada boom, uh, we have full control of our lights again and we can now go into bedroom, we can split these two apart if we want to, we can say, you know, the light bulb to green and the LED strip to pink. And if we check back on the Razer Chroma Studio, we see stream is busy and the bridge is disabled, but you can quickly enable it again and you'll see the light. There we go. Now it's back on Razer Synapse and Razer Chroma. Everything is once again immediately synced up and it all works great. So that's good that you can quickly switch between them and uh, there's not too much hassle, I suppose. I really, really do wish that you could just have both methods of controlling them, as I do own a Philips Hue like remote here that allows me to control the lights, but once again, I'm gonna have to turn off uh, the light sync as I can't control anything unless Razer Synapse is turned off. There we go, it's turned off now. So I've got my remote here, and what I can do is quickly turn off both of the lights. So the desk lights can be turned on, and so can the lamp above me. And yeah, this is a remote that you can control everything with. It's like 20 pounds on Amazon. It's pretty cool. Uh, I usually have this stuck onto my wall. Well, actually, oh, I always have this stuck onto my wall. And that remote pretty much always sits right here. As I did used to have my normal light switch here, but I bought this like cover for the light switch that you can then fit like a Philips Hue switch in there instead, which is like pretty sick. Uh, so my light switch looks like a ball in his hell, right? Like look at that dude. I can Switch colors of the lights. You can adjust the brightness and stuff. It's all pretty sick One other really cool thing that's not related to Razer Chroma at all 
is Philips Hue's routines with the light bulbs as well as like, you know, pretty much all their Hue products, I suppose. So if we hop onto the app here, uh, let me show you this, this dope feature. So we have a thing called the wake up routine. Now, this is what I've currently got enabled and this is kind of like my new alarm as I no longer like to use like, I guess, you know, like your traditional uh, alarms that, you know, I don't know why mine are even set to 3 a.m. But yeah, there's my alarms, I guess, but I never really use them anymore. In fact, I never use them. Uh, instead, my alarm now is my light bulbs, which may sound weird, but I think that's a much better way to actually wake up as you don't like, it doesn't interrupt like any of your sleep cycles. Instead, you kind of like wake up naturally, which is a much better way of waking up in general, I think. And all this is basically is that the lights will begin fading in just like, you know, the sun would rise. Uh, so you can set this anywhere from like 10 minutes to 30 minutes and the lights will slowly fade in. And if you want to, you can even pair that up with like a curtain schedule. So right here, I've got open curtains and this will basically open up my curtains at 7 a.m. So my lights will slowly fade in and then my curtains will open themselves as well to kind of wake me up. So this is probably actually one of my favorite features of Philips Hue is being able to like use your lights as like a wake up light, I guess, and instead of an alarm, which is pretty dope. I've not even actually tried out any of the other routines, I guess. There's like go to sleep, which I guess help you fall asleep in some way. I think Fortnite's finished updating. It has, we, we have launch on Fortnite now. Cool, Fortnite and Philips Hue work very well. So let's hit launch and uh, let's play some Fortnite. Right, so from what I can remember, what happens when you launch Fortnite is I think everything will turn white, I think. Uh, it's currently loading. Come on, Fortnite, load faster, dude. Yeah, you just saw there, Fortnite loaded, everything turned white. Now, Fortnite's pretty much taking control of my entire room. Uh, the lights are being controlled by Fortnite, so uh, my desk LED strips and all my peripherals, except for my headset, because my headset does not support Razer Chroma. S silly Razer headset, right. Uh, let's hop into Battle Royale and let's see what happens as I play this game and just what crazy things happen, right, um, with all the lights and stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enable a uh, gaming mode on my PC here so only the middle monitor is turned on and the other ones are turned off because why would they be turned on for no reason. If you want to add me on Fortnite, uh, I'm called Tech Block. Right, the room is freaking flashing to Fortnite. What is going on? Man, am I gonna have to make like a dedicated video about like Philips Hue and Fortnite? Cause I mean, so far it's working pretty well. And why is this lagging? Why are my frames dropping on Fortnite? Oh, I'm, I'm recording with OBS. See, this is why I can't stream by the way. Uh, my, my PC can't handle even recording gameplay. Like if I encounter anyone, they, they're gonna kill me immediately. I, I don't think I'm gonna stand a chance. Well, we died. Nothing happened. I want to walk into the storm and see what happens. I'm pretty sure the whole room should turn purple. We're back in the lobby. Everything's turned to white again. The storm is on its way. I think as it gets closer, which it's really, really close now. Um, yeah, the room is kind of becoming more orange or red. Well, uh, oh my Lord. Yeah, I was right. The whole room turns purple and we're dying. It's like a breathing effect almost. Right, so that was Fortnite with Razer Chroma and Philips Hue all working beautifully together. I wish I could show you more games that support Philips Hue and Fortnite. I think one of them is Overwatch, but I haven't, I've never played Overwatch, I think, and I, I don't own a copy of it. Uh, but if you do want me to play more games and showcase more like lighting effects with like Philips Hue, Razer Chroma and you know just whatever game that supports it, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe we'll do like a part four where maybe I can go more in depth with the lighting effects in Fortnite. Maybe we'll try to get CSGO to react with uh, you know our Philips Hue light bulbs and stuff like as the bombs ticking away the whole room can like flash red or something. As I know someone's done that on YouTube, like you can Google it, I guess, and or you can search it up in YouTube. People have gotten Philips Hue to work with CSGO, but when I try to set it up, nothing really worked, unfortunately. I'll probably try again, uh, maybe in like yeah, a few days, try to get it to work as getting CSGO to work with Philips Hue and Razer Chroma would be so sick. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I think when we end the video here, uh, it's been pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed Philips Hue, Razer Chroma, part three, I guess. Uh, let me know if you want to see a part four. And apart from that, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Goodbye.